Hello, welcome to a new episode in the FLTK Rust series. Uh, this episode, uh, I'll be talking about uh, icons. So here I have just a simple FLTK project, and in the main file, uh, we define two constant colors uh, from hex values, and we just create a window, white window, uh, with a button in the middle, and we set the frame type for the button to be a flat box and the color to blue and the selection color to selection blue uh, which are these two values here then we end the window and show it and run the app so uh, if we run this you get this so to use icons there are some nice resources online so the first one is the bootstrap icons which you can just uh, search for online uh, if you search bootstrap uh, icons and uh, you have all this uh, list of icons you can choose for example this one and it will give you the SVG that you need so uh, we can basically just create a const value here icon and uh, we'll create a uh, a literal, literal string and we can just load it using set image image svg image from data icon unwrap and this actually needs a sum And you can see the icon here, we can change the color, for example. So let us say uh, we want the button to be, the label of the button to be white. And the icon it itself to be white. And you can change the position of the icon itself using the alignment. So let us say button set align line and you can choose image next to text and you can see the icon is on the left and if you can add a space for example before the click uh, or you can also use text next to image which should place the icon on the right side you can also add a space here so that is one way of using icons uh, based on images uh, here specifically in SVG image uh, another way I wanted to show you is to use fonts there are special fonts such as font awesome, octicons and other fonts which actually have uh, icons in them, SVG icons and these can be used uh, directly uh, without having to load an image so uh, for example we can check the character map uh, project here which has a link and it can show you the icons that you have available for example this is the font awesome icon icons and to get the icon itself you just have to click it and get the unicode so let's do this, so we'll remove this and here we'll be using dynamic strings so we'll pass none first and use with label and then here we'll just uh, use format the format macro and char from u32 oops We'll get the Unicode. So this is uh, in hex. So if just uh, format this. So basically, we used with label formatted text since uh, we're passing a dynamic string, and we use char from U32. And if you run this, yep, we don't have the icon anymore and 
and we have to load the font of course <coughs> so loading the font you can find you can load it uh, using the app uh, struct or uh, using the font uh, enum itself which has a load, load font method so that font equals and this basically rep replaces uh, the font uh, that you want to load into another font so let's say uh, this is fonts fa.otf and then uh, we can use it uh, we can use the set font method and we'll replace the default font for our, our application which is by default uh, font Helvetica and we'll pass font here and if we run this we get the font itself and you can of course uh, change the uh, size of the uh, uh, font itself so uh, that they will size and let's say 18 the default is 14 um, let's try also the octagons here and uh, we'll check the fonts uh, the icons and the octagons font so let's take this one And you can see the icon here. You can also add text, of course. Um, so let's say here, caution. And you get this. That was basically it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, you can find some use for this in your applications. Thanks for watching. Bye.